I am Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question based on angle between radius vector and tangent. I will use a formula for which we have already made a video. The formula to find the angle is tan phi where phi is the angle between radius vector and the tangent is equal to r over dr d theta. Now this could also be written in cotangent form. Cot phi is 1 over tan phi is equal to 1 over this. We'll just make reciprocal of this is equal to dr d theta. So that is the formula which has to be used. So the students who are already working on polar quadrants are familiar with this. However, for some, I'll provide you with a link. You can go through the link and understand how we derive this particular formula. Correct? Now let's see how to solve such a question. The question here is, find the angle between the radius and the tangent for the polar curve r square cos 2 theta equals to a square. So the curve given to us is r square cos 2 theta equals to a square. To find the derivative dr d theta, what should we do? It's better to take log both sides, correct? So we'll take log and simplify our exercise. So we'll take log on both sides. So we get log of this equal to log of a square. Now let's expand. So we get <coughs> log of r square. This is a product. We could write this as plus log of cos 2 theta equals to <coughs> log a square applying the power rule 2 log r plus log cos 2 theta equals to 2 log a. Now, now we will take log. Uh, now we will take derivative on both the sides with respect to theta. So, differentiating with respect to theta, what do we get? We get two times one over r dr d theta plus one over cos two theta times derivative of cos 2 theta which is minus 2 sine 2 theta and this is a constant equal to 0. So, so we could write, let's rearrange and we could write this as 1 over r dr d theta. We can take, let's write 2 here for the time being. Let's take this term to the right side. We get 2 sine 2 theta over cos 2 theta is tan 2 theta. Correct? So 2 and 2 can cancel. So we get 1 over r dr d theta equals to tan 2 theta. Now as you can see 1 over r dr d theta is cot phi. Right? So the left side we could write as cot phi. Correct? So this is cot phi. So we can write this as cot phi. Now as far as tan 2 theta goes we could use uh, Co-function identity, right? So we could write this also as cotangent. We can write this as cot of pi by 2 minus 2 theta. That is tan 2 theta. Correct? So writing like this gives us a clear answer, which is phi is equal to pi by 2 minus 2 theta. Do you get the idea? So what we did here, very critical to understand, is to 
utilize the co-function identity. That is, we could write tan pi by 2 minus theta is equals to cotangent pi by 2. You get the idea. So that gives you the answer. And so the result is that the angle between the radius vector and the tangent is pi by 2 minus 2 theta. Perfect. So that is how such questions can be solved. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.